Welcome back ladies and gents. So today we're going to be looking at a plugin for OBS Studio that helps you do effects like this with your camera <laughs> or not just camera, any other source. Um, so let's get into it. So welcome back ladies and gents. So we're going to show you how to add this in to your stream now. So first off we are going to go to, there we go, we're going to show you this. There we're going to go, we're going to go to the OBS forums website. We are going to go to this web, this part of the website. I will put the link in the description. Um, we're going to go to download. And we are going to go to the Windows Zip for me. It's going to be Windows Zip. If you are Mac and Linux, obviously there is them. Download them. I will put a link in the description to a YouTube short that I did on how to install these type of plugins as well. Uh, granted, I did it quickly because shorts are quick. Anyway, so once we've done that, we're going to go to OBS Studio. So at the moment, you can see that I've actually added Amazon Music in. And as you can see ever so slightly... It is pulsing to the music so you can have it do that so we've done a previous video on the spectralizer uh, and this is this could be a similar sort of aspect that you can add to it uh, and it goes with the music it's not massively uh, intrusive it just depends how you want it you can have but we're going to show you how we, we've added it to the source anyway so for example we're going to have the snap camera which is my camera we're going to go down to here so we will do uh da, 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 da. there you go scale okay there you go scale to sound so we just click on that and add that in then you can from here you can select your audio source obviously we've got it with amazon music at the moment um and then we've got all these different settings that we can do so we can have the threshold so we can have it so it goes higher but it, that means you've got the music's got obviously go higher um and play louder so we're just going to nudge that down. I think where it comes in is quite a nice point. Music stops at the moment. Um, we can have it go a little bit bigger. Minimum, maximum size. Again, I find it's quite good where it's set at. Uh, the only other bit you might want to do is a bit, a little bit of smoothing with how it pulses. Um, you can invert it so it goes a different... Obviously, in, inverse scaling. And then I would... As a rule, I've got to have at least one of these checked on, as it just looks silly because it will not do anything uh, with the scaling. So it's pretty simple. Obviously, what you could have it do is um, when I can find it, where are we? Try again. You can go for your mic. So now this reacts to how I speak and how loud and different bits. You can set different thresholds. So it's quite quite a little nifty feature. You can have it so if you really wanted to, um, you could have it so um, it reacts whenever you're um, uh, obviously whenever you're talking. But you could have it so it's a channel point, so it makes it do like that. Or you can uh, add it to your stream deck, or basically you can activate the filter whatever way you you want to do it uh, with a chat command. Say like Biku Bot, Streamer Bot, so on and so forth. But yeah, it's a nice, quick, simple video. Um, a handy little plug-in if you want to just add that little bit of a, uh, a pulse to uh, something in your stream that reacts. Anyway, thank you all for watching again. Make sure you do like and subscribe, and we'll catch you all in the next one.